We're going to do this long division thing again. Now we'll find the quotient and the remainder of the dividend x cubed minus 4x squared plus 2x plus 5 and the divisor x minus 2. So we're going to set up long division in the same way. Sorry for how this looks here. And take a look at x cubed versus x. So it's just look at the first term here, x cubed and x. So something times x is x cubed. Don't look at the minus 2. We'll worry about that a little bit later. But something to be placed here, something times x is x cubed, and that should be x squared. So x squared times x minus 2 if you distribute. So take x squared times x minus 2 if you distribute. You'll have x cubed minus 2x squared, which we should write here. But since we're going to subtract x cubed minus 2x squared, let's go ahead and multiply in that negative 1 already. And you'll have negative x cubed plus 2x squared. Then we can add, right? So because we've already distributed in the minus sign, x cubed plus negative x cubed is 0. And then negative 4x squared plus 2x squared is negative 2x squared and bring down this 2x. Now, same deal. Think what we place here should be something times x is negative 2x squared. So that something, so think about it, something times x is negative 2x squared. That something ought to be negative 2x. So we have a new, negative 2x here, and then negative 2x times x minus 2 quantity. Well, that would be, if you distribute the negative 2x to x minus 2, you'll have negative 2x squared plus 4x, but since we're going to have to subtract that, let's distribute a minus sign and have 2x squared minus 4x. Now we can add in each column, so negative 2x squared plus 2x squared is 0, and then 2x plus negative 4x is negative 2x. Bring down the 5, and then again ask the same style question. It's something times x is negative 2x, so that should be a negative 2 here. Negative 2 then times quantity x minus 2 would be negative 2x plus 4, but since we're going to need to subtract it, let's distribute in a minus 1 into the negative 2x plus 4 and have positive 2x minus 4, then we can add. Negative 2x plus 2x is 0, 5 plus negative 4 is positive 1. In the end, we can set up that this x cubed minus 4x squared plus 2x plus 5 all divided by x mi minus 2 is the quotient here, x squared minus 2x minus 2, then plus the remainder of 1 here, still over this denominator of x minus 2, as we saw in the numerical example a moment ago. You should check. You should really at home take x squared minus 2x minus 2 over 1 plus 1 over x minus 2, create a common denominator, and see if you really get x cubed minus 4x squared plus 2x plus 5 all over x minus 2. Okay, the remainder theorem. If a polynomial p of x is divided by x minus c, then the remainder that you'll get after dividing by x minus c, right, the remainder that you get is gonna actually going to be p of c. So, for instance, in the last example, the remainder of dividing x cubed minus 4x squared plus 2x plus 5, when we took that and divided by x minus 2, you may recall we had a re remainder of 1. That same 1 is the same as when we took the same polynomial from the warm-up and found p of 2, and we got the number 1. So the fact that there's a 1 here and a 1 here, this 1 was the remainder, that's exactly what the remainder theorem is trying to talk about. So the warm-up is the connection, or sorry, the warm-up is a computation. The remainder that we got from the long division problem we did was 1 as well. And the connection between these two ones, the fact that we got the same number, is exactly what the remainder theorem is trying to talk about.